Welcome everyone to our virtual awards evening. Each year, this event is one of the highlights of the school calendar. And while we're not able to host this face-to-face -face this year, I very much hope that we're able to get back to a sense of normal business in the coming months. However, given its importance to the school, we've worked hard with the support of staff at Llandaff Cathedral to bring this virtual event to you. I should like to pay a special tribute to those students from the class of 2020 who will collect awards this evening. As a year group, you made us very proud both in terms of your exceptional outcomes, but also for the resilience you showed throughout a very demanding time. Normally, I'd be reflecting on an exciting year that you've had this year. However, I think it would be fair to say that your first year away from us has been anything but exciting. I'm sure none of us will ever forget the past 18 months. We've all faced challenges at an unprecedented level, yet the spirit of the whole school community as a collective group has been inspiring. While we endeavour to return to a sense of normality, I'm sure there are many aspects of this period that we will seek to build upon in order to help us become the person we have been called to be. However, we also reflect on those who have struggled through this period. Throughout the period of recovery, our aim must be to reignite a sense of familiarity and order to help give everyone the chance to thrive again. Working at the Bishop of Landaff is a genuine privilege. However, we cannot underestimate the level of support we have from our school community. The success of the school cannot be achieved without your hard work and determination, along with the support of your families and staff. So you are most welcome to this evening and there will be a section to commemorate your achievements later on. The purpose of the evening is fairly straightforward. We want to celebrate and give thanks for the effort, commitment and achievement of all of our students. And it's also a time to give thanks to the parents and staff who work tirelessly to support every child who is part of our school community. Noswetha, a chroeso canes iawni bawb. Good evening and a very warm welcome to our awards ceremony. Although this is a virtual event this year, we as a school are very fortunate that we have this magnificent building as our parish church. I would like to thank the Dean and Chapter for enabling us to be here to record the ceremony and celebrate the successes of the past year. We will start with an opening prayer and then invite you to join me in saying the school prayer. Let us pray, Gwydion. Dear God, today we join with heaven as we celebrate and give thanks for every student here. Thank you that each one is unique and brimming with potential. Thank you for leading them in their learning, for keeping them safe as they studied and participated in the life of the school. And thank you for watching over them throughout this school year. We pray that they may all feel proud of this day and enjoy sharing their achievements with family and friends. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they continue on life's great adventure. Amen. Father, bless our school, that your peace may dwell at the heart of it. May the wisdom of Christ inspire our learning and the movement of your spirit fill our rooms, that your generous love may dwell among us, love of one another, love of humanity, love of justice, and love of life itself. In all our teaching and all our learning, remind us that as many hands build a house, so many hearts make a school. Amen. Good evening. It has been my privilege as Head of Year 7 to welcome and support all Year 7 students through their first year of high school. Having missed out on a large period of their final year in primary school and a very different transition period last summer, all students faced a very daunting start to high school life. With many changes to the school layout due to COVID restrictions including social distancing, bubbles and no contact with any other year group, I am pleased and extremely proud to say that the approach and commitment of each and every Year 7 student has been truly remarkable. Each student has demonstrated love and acceptance, making many new friends in such difficult circumstances. Each student has had to adapt very quickly to the changes of school life, while learning new skills to support their distance learning at times of isolation and school closure. 
I would like to congratulate all students for their resilience and determination. I must also thank all Year 7 parents for their support this year. As a parent myself, I know that at times home learning and teaching has had its difficulties. Juggling work and supporting your own child's education is not easy. At different times throughout the year, you have probably been a combination of parents, teachers, friends, and even enemies to your children. However, thank you for remaining positive throughout and having faith in us as teachers and as a school through such an important year of your children's education. A big well done to each and every award winner this year for your achievement and commitment to each subject. Keep working hard and continue to make your teachers and parents proud. To conclude, I wish every Year 7 student a well-deserved summer break following an extremely successful first year in high school. Continue to show kindness, support, determination and positivity and I'm sure your Year 8 experience will be as successful as this one. Thank you and best wishes to you all. Good evening. My name is Leah Perkins. I am in Form 7 SLN. I feel that this year has been very strange for everybody, Year 7 especially. We haven't been able to go around the school as normal and our lessons have been mainly in one room. Recently it has felt more normal as after school clubs have started and we have been able to go into the science labs. On my first day of school I was excited to be starting high school but I also felt a bit apprehensive as I was the only one from my primary school and I was anxious about making new friends. However, I didn't need to be concerned as I made two new friends as soon as I got on the school bus. Also, throughout Year 7, I have met many more people. Walking through the school gates for the first time was thrilling and slightly nerve-wracking. I wasn't sure where I was supposed to be going or what I should be doing, but everyone was very helpful and guided me to the right places. Over the next few weeks, I started learning many new subjects, including Spanish and DT, which I found enjoyable. The first two terms were a combination of distance learning and being in school. When I was at home, I found the distance learning very organised, with everything put on teams. Teachers rang us every week to find out how we were feeling and if we were, we were concerned about anything. The good thing about home learning is that we didn't have to wake up so early, but it was odd having my parents as teachers. As I come closer to the end of Year 7, I realise how quickly the year has gone by. The best bits of Year 7 were being able to laugh with my friends and catch up with them after each isolation period. I am looking forward to Year 8 as according to my brothers, Year 8 is the best year of high school. There are no important, e important exams and we have already settled into the school. I look forward to doing more science experiments and hopefully being able to take off our masks and move around the school freely. In conclusion, I thank all my teachers for all the hard work they have put into the into teaching us this year, both online and in school. Thank you for listening. The award for commitment in art goes to Orla Barton. The award for achievement in art goes to Oakley Sadler Reed. The award for commitment and Gumraig goes to Jake Harries. The award for achievement and Gumraig goes to Thomas Dunn. The award for commitment in English goes to Nicole Walsh Barbosa. The award for achievement in English goes to Daniel Evans. The award for commitment in geography goes to James Gray. The award for achievement in geography goes to Leah Perkins. The award for commitment in history goes to Seren Bean. The award for achievement in history goes to Rhiannon Oakley. The award for commitment in ICT goes to Will Roach. The award for achievement in ICT goes to Eva Matthew. The award for commitment in mathematics goes to Eva Alapat. The award for achievement in mathematics goes to Evan Lewis. 
The award for commitment in modern foreign languages goes to Daniel Mead. The award for achievement in modern foreign languages goes to Tom McGee. The award for commitment in music goes to Asya Mujiba Rahiman. The award for achievement in music goes to Anay Chan. The award for commitment in religious studies goes to Hannah Bartholomew. The award for achievement in religious studies goes to Leo Munich. The award for commitment in science goes to Olivia Brereton. The award for achievement in science goes to Nathan Gammon. The award for commitment in technology goes to Aidan Dark. And the award for achievement in technology goes to Anwen Davis. Good evening and thank you for attending. I feel very proud and privileged to be the head of Year 8. I've enjoyed watching them grow and mature both physically and academically over the past school year. Even with all the challenges that we have faced together, they have not failed to impress. I often talk about us being a team and with the strength and resilience that has been displayed throughout this difficult time, I am confident that the students of this year group have a bright future. If they can continue to apply this attitude throughout the rest of their time here at Bishop, then in three years time, it is highly likely that they will be one of the most successful year groups to pass through our doors. I would like to personally congratulate our prize winners here with me this evening. We are such a strong year group and so many others could have been recognized for an award. So to be here is a real achievement. I feel great pride in all that Year 8 have achieved this year and I look forward to working with them to ensure they achieve their full potential and looking forward to celebrating their successes with them. And I invite Moima to say a few words on behalf of our year group. Good afternoon. My name is Moima Fortner and this year I have been an 8KDD. Thank you for asking me to do this speech on behalf of Year 8. We started the school year in September excited to be going back to school after many months of lockdown. The first half term flew by quite quickly. We made new friends, we had new forms and we had new teachers. However, we then had to go back to distance learning at Christmas time. Many of us missed our friends and felt lonely. Being stuck at home, we found it hard to concentrate through online lessons as there were always many distractions. But we were so grateful to all our teachers who supported us through this time with live lessons, assemblies and well-being phone calls. I was so happy to be able to go back to school in March. We were able to start clubs for the first time since Year 7. Music lessons began again for many of us. And we were able to go back to the science labs and do some experiments. Even though this year has been hard for all of us, we still managed to enjoy ourselves while in school. Year 9 will be an exciting year for us and I am really looking forward to going back to some normality, like starting the school orchestra again, maybe not having to wear masks, being able to move around the school more and even maybe going to Story Arms. Once again, I want to thank all my teachers and friends for helping me through Year 8 and I'm looking forward to what Year 9 has in store for us. The subject award for commitments in art goes to Favour David. The Subject Award for Achievement in Art, Grace Jones. The Subject Award for Commitment in Welsh, Matthew Robinson. The Subject Award for Achievement in Welsh, Charlie John. Subject Award for Commitment in English, James Bellamy. Subject Award for Achievement in English, Karis Pryor. Subject Award for Commitment in Geography, James Brookman. Subject Award for Achievement in Geography, Claire Williams. Subject Award for Commitment in History, Ollie Rogerson. 
Subject Award for Achievement in History, Theo Chadwick. Subject Award for Commitment in ICT, Morgan Shaw. Subject Award for Achievement in ICT, Adley Arnand. Subject Award for Commitment in Mathematics, Maria Latinkic. Subject Award for Achievement in Mathematics, Quian Lin. Subject Award for Commitment in Modern Foreign Languages, Lily Hills. Subject Award for Achievement in Modern Foreign Languages, Moima Fortner. The Subject Award for Commitment in Music goes to Susanna Chuddy. The Subject Award for Achievement in Music, Millie Mason. The Subject Award for Commitment in Religious Studies goes to Abby Hughes. Achievement Award in Religious Studies is Olivia Simmons. Commitment Award for Science is Alina Sunil. The Subject Award for Achievement in Science goes to John Leng. The Subject Award for Commitment in Technology, Lily Horton. The Subject Award for Achievement in Technology, Lily O'Shea. The Sporting Award for Commitment to Gymnastics goes to Pollyanna Morris. Taking over Year 9 as a year group has been superb. We have all adapted together to a new way of teaching and learning. The year group was massively engaged in home learning and worked so hard dealing with new technology and its benefits. Some of the most important decisions happened this academic year for Year 9. The usual department subject pitches were replaced with informative online assemblies, engaging students to make their informed choices. Year 9 did not disappoint, asking questions and eagerly making their option choices. Departments have found it immensely difficult this year to choose award winners, as the level of focus, commitment and standards have been so high. 
The prize winners today have stood out to be nominated for their awards. Well done to all of you and all the best for your journey into Key Stage 4. Year 9 has been quite an alternative year for everyone. There have been many things which we have not been able to do and there have also been many things which have been implemented as of the current COVID situation. Firstly, since almost all of year eight, we have been home learning and our teachers have carried on putting every lesson or all of our work on Teams. This has carried on for year nine. This method has been extremely helpful as if we are given homework or if we have missed a lesson, we have easy access to it. Secondly, since returning to school, we have been doing three 100 minute lessons instead of six 50 minute lessons. This has been helpful for some lessons such as science and PE. However, in others, our concentration levels have been tested. Also, we have been restricted to one classroom for the majority of our lessons and sitting in a consistent seating plan has been another challenge to face. However, as a year group, we have our first GCSE task coming up in English and this extra time in lessons has been a bonus, allowing us more time to prepare for important exams. Finally, things that have been missed by all of Year 9 are the extracurriculum activities and trips. Normally, we would have gone to Story Arms, skiing and enjoyed DOV. However, because of the current restrictions, we have not been able to do these things. Although we missed out this year, there are still plenty of time left at Bishop for us to enjoy. I'm looking forward to Year 10, studying my GCSE options and hopefully some normality. The Subject Award for Commitment in Art goes to Jacob Harris. The Subject Award for Achievement in Art goes to Clara Fortner. The Subject Award for Commitment in Welsh goes to Saren Buckingham. The Award for Achievement in Welsh goes to Siana Akshaya. The Subject Award for Commitment in English goes to Bethany Tuhig. The Award for Achievement in English goes to Tegan Davis. The Award for Commitment in Geography goes to Ophelia de Malvada Rees. The Award for Achievement in Geography goes to Ava King. The Award for Commitment in History goes to Flynn Collinshaw Shepman. The Award for Achievement in History goes to Annalise Sugre. The Award for Commitment in ICT goes to Thomas Rival. The Award for Achievement in ICT goes to Tristan Delange. The Award for Commitment in Mathematics goes to Aidan Hutt. The Subject Award for Achievement in Mathematics goes to Sam Travaglia. The Subject Award for Commitment in Modern Foreign Languages goes to Café Igrube. The Award for Achievement in Modern Foreign Languages goes to Joe Fakwar. The Award for Commitment in Music goes to Matilda Morris. The Award for Achievement in Music goes to Neve Gardner. The Award for Commitment to Religious Studies goes to Faith Davis. The Award for Achievement in Religious Studies goes to Lucy Froome. The Award for Commitment in Science goes to Sarah Bancoli. The Award for Achievement in Science goes to Ope Mipo Shitu. The Award for Commitment in Technology goes to Bethan Williams. The Award for Achievement in Technology goes to Oralua Kasim. The Sporting Award for Commitment in Rugby goes to Chloe Lee. The Sporting Award for Commitment in Football goes to Evan Lamb. The Sporting Award for Commitment in Athletics goes to Amy Davis. The Sporting Award for Commitment in Cross Country goes to Kean Harold. 
The Sporting Award for Commitment in Hockey goes to Scarlett James. The Sporting Award for Commitment to Netball is Café Grube. And the award for the graduation programme goes to Emily Hardesty. What an exciting year it's been for Year 10 this year. Embarking upon their GCSEs, they have approached the challenge with excellent diligence and full of enthusiasm. I have been so impressed with their maturity and commitment to their studies, despite an incredibly difficult year. It is apparent that their work ethic has blossomed throughout the year, and I am excited to move into Year 11 as your head of year. I will now pass over to Heidi, who will talk about her experiences during Year 10. My experience of Year 10 has been memorable to say the least, from being sat at home staring at teachers through our computer screens, to hearing the announcements that we could finally return to school and be surrounded by friends, teachers and familiar faces, at a distance of course. Even this I used to take for granted. I never would have imagined that I would embrace being in the classroom until this unprecedented year came about. Oh, and we can't forget the new timetable of three 100 minute lessons, which I've actually come to prefer. As we are now back in school, hopefully for the good, I want to express how much I appreciate my friends for their unconditional support this year. Thank you to all of my teachers who have done their very best to ensure we were still learning and preparing for our exams throughout lockdown. They have made work easy and clear to access, as well as relaying feedback, which has made me realise that I was never alone. Year 10 has been a great year, besides the abnormalities. The start of our GCSEs has meant I have started new subjects, such as business studies, which I thoroughly enjoy and I'm so glad I chose it. I'm sure many other students have loved learning new subjects too, as they were able to choose them. Hopefully we'll put our knowledge to good use when we eventually enter the big wide world. This year has felt extremely different, not just because of Covid, but because everyone is maturing and finding their feet. I hope Year 11 will bring amazing new experiences, and I bet we all wish for normality to return. Our final year in high school, let's see what the future holds. The first award for Year 10 is the Award for Commitment in Art, and it goes to Joseph Hull. The Award for Achievement in Art goes to Lucy McGee. The Award for Commitment in Business Studies goes to Harry Lewis. The Award for Achievement in Business Studies goes to Eleanor Hill. The Award for Commitment in Computing goes to Matthew Keenor. The Award for Achievement in Computing goes to Benjamin Rogerson. The Award for Commitment in Camraig goes to Ellen Sims. The Award for Achievement in Camraig goes to Rui Hare. The Award for Commitment in Drama goes to Henry Maynard. The Award for Achievement in Drama goes to Neve Taylor. The Award for Commitment in English goes to Govinda Rani. The Award for Achievement in English goes to Flynn Pittman. The Award for Commitment in Geography goes to Lily Evans. The Award for Achievement in Geography goes to Sophia Valenton. The Award for Commitment in History goes to Isabella Ford. The Award for Achievement in History goes to Emily Bell. The Award for Commitment in ICT goes to Coco Howells. The Award for Achievement in ICT goes to Charlie Jones. The Award for Commitment in Mathematics goes to Chloe Bainham. The Award for Achievement in Mathematics goes to Haristo Petkoff. 
the award for commitment in modern foreign languages goes to Alice Porter. The award for achievement in modern foreign languages goes to Isabella Rhee. The award for commitment in music goes to Sophia Staniforth. The award for achievement in music goes to Tristan Phillips. The award for commitment in physical education goes to Harry Brown. The award for achievement in physical education goes to Heidi Rose Laurie. The award for commitment in religious studies goes to Zaki Hadeem. The award for achievement in religious studies goes to Isla Munnock. The award for commitment in science goes to Joseph Morgan. The award for achievement in science goes to Emily Harding. The award for commitment in technology goes to Yasmin Small. The award for achievement in technology goes to Emma McAleen. The sporting award for achievement in athletics goes to Connor McNamara. The Sporting Award for Achievement in Gymnastics goes to Lucy McGee. The Sporting Award for Achievement in Hockey goes to Sophia Valentin. The Sporting Award for Achievement in Netball goes to Alice Lilly. The First Graduation Programme Award goes to Esther Hunt. The next Graduation Programme Award goes to Ella Seward. The final Graduation Programme Award goes to Anna O'Driscoll. The Marion Centre Dosmouth Williams Award for Commitment goes to Albie Toshak Jones. The Marin Center Dosmouth Williams Award for Achievement goes to Gotsi Anyaki. The Marin Center Dosmouth Tudor Award for Commitment goes to Kennedy Mendez. The Marin Center Dosmouth Tudor Achievement Award goes to Henry Pickersgill. The Marin Center Dosmouth Thomas Commitment Award goes to Aaron Venkat. The Marion Centre Dosmouth Thomas Achievement Award goes to Joshua Williams. The Marion Centre Dosmouth Bevan Award for Commitment goes to Theo Jenkins. The Marion Centre Dosmouth Bevan Award for Achievement goes to Regan Farrant. The Marion Centre Dosmouth Glyndur Award for Commitment goes to Kyle Humphreys. The Marion Centre Dosbath Glyndur Award for Achievement goes to Corey Guy. The Marion Centre Dosbath Lloyd George Award for Commitment goes to Evan Binden. The Marion Centre Dosbath Lloyd George Award for Achievement goes to Jack Killy. The Marion Centre Dosbath Llewellyn Award for Commitment goes to Brooke Lovering. The Marion Center Dosbath Llewellyn Award for Achievement goes to Brandon Williams. And the Marion Center Outstanding Achievement Award goes to Alex Bamsey. Hey there, it's Michaela Breeze here. It's been a while since I've been to Bishop of Landaff School, but I've been asked just to say a couple of words and to congratulate all of the winners uh, on the awards that have been presented today. Look, not everybody's going to be a winner, that is life. My background in the sport of Olympic weightlifting, I've been fortunate to compete at two Olympic Games in Athens and Beijing, and a medal for Wales at four Commonwealth Games. But sometimes it isn't always about the success. Sometimes it's taking a difficult 
a challenging situation and turning it into a positive. And I think it's fair to say the last year or so have certainly been that. They've been challenging, they've been difficult. It has not been pleasant for anybody, I don't think. So I just wanna reach out and give you guys and girls this message to say, look, whatever the situation, whether it's here now, something you're dealing with, whether it's something in the future, life is not meant to be easy. It's about how you overcome those challenges. And trust me, I've had plenty of those in my sporting career. And I've used this whole difficult situation with COVID and I've looked at it and thought, you know what, this sucks, but we're gonna find a positive way through it. And from a business point of view, that's what we're now doing. And I've taken a very challenging situation and turned it into a positive to make our business successful in a different way. As an athlete, the biggest challenges I came up against were injuries. And it's how you deal with those, how you manage those in difficult situations, but most importantly, stay positive and always look for the positive outcome in any situation. Look, I wish you all the very best in your future. Have a great awards ceremony and hopefully I'll be able to come in person and see you all soon. Hi guys, my name is Ellis Jenkins. I play rugby for the Cardiff Blues. Uh, I want to say a big congratulations to all the prize winners today. A uh, big testament to, to the hard work you've put in um, throughout the last year. Um, so well done. Um, I've been asked to give a bit of advice um, that I would give to my younger self um, to be successful or to overcome challenges. Um, so, so the advice that I would give to myself is to focus on the things that you can control. Um, I think lots of us uh, cause ourselves a lot of stress and spend a lot of time worrying about things that are totally out of our control and uh, that we can't change. Um, and um, it's something I've, I've done in the past and you know, focusing on things you can control um, and that you can change um, takes, takes a lot of the stress off. Uh, and allows you to move forward and uh, and attack any any problems you've got uh, in a in a more productive way. Um, so yeah, focus on the things you can control, and uh, if you can't control it, don't worry about it um, because there's nothing you can do about it, and uh, there's no point causing yourself extra stress. Um, so congratulations again to all the prize winners. Um, well done, and I hope you all have a great summer. Hello everyone, my name is Jack Megas Phillips, and I'm the author of The Beast and the Bethany. It's a children's book about a young 500-year-old, a carnivorous beast, and a child who's going to be eaten. Now then, I just wanted to say a huge congratulations to all the prize winners. From the sounds of it, you're far cleverer and more brilliant than I was at school. Now then, for any of you who are thinking about becoming writers, um, or anything else for that matter, then my advice to you would be to work at your dreams every single day. Because I believe that habit and consistency achieves far more than inspiration or even dazzling ideas. If you work at it, it will come. Um, from the sounds of it, you're already off to a cracking start anyway. So I just want to say congratulations again, and I hope you all have a wonderful summer.
I would like to begin by congratulating all our PE and Sporting Award recipients this year. Today's awards recognise the achievements and hard work of the student athletes despite the significant disruption over the last year to training and competitions as a result of COVID restrictions. We have amazingly talented students in the Bishop of Llandaff and I hope this recognition will encourage you and your peers to continue to invest your time and efforts towards greater goals in sports both in and out of school. Congratulations once again to all students here today and also to the coaches, parents and families. Thank you so much for your tireless efforts to support all our students on their sporting journeys. The Sporting Award for Achievement in Rugby at Key Stage 4 goes to Ethan Hartley. The Sporting Award for Achievement in Rugby Key Stage 5 goes to Simeon Greenaway Robbins. Sporting Award for Achievement in Football, Key Stage 4, goes to George Cottrell. Sporting Award for Achievement in Football at Key Stage 5 is for Jay Mashemi. The Sporting Award for Achievement in Athletics at Key Stage 5 is Noah Ernest. Good evening. I'm delighted to present the Margaret Samuel Prize for the Faculty of Art and Design to Ellen Jones. Ellen's commitment to the subject throughout her entire time in school has been phenomenal. She is easily the most prolific student I've ever taught, producing many stunning artworks. She has been an absolute pleasure to teach, not only because she is talented, but because she is so eager to grow and learn. It is this inquisitive nature an aptitude for painting in particular that has meant that Ellen has become an accomplished fine artist in her short time at school. Ellen is quiet, humble and a focused student in class who has been a pleasure to have in the group. Her work rate and enthusiasm has been exemplary throughout the whole time of school and I would like to thank her for being such a fantastic role model. Ellen has earned her place on a foundation art course where she will now spend a year refining her skills before going on to her chosen creative career. They are lucky to be taking on such a dedicated and hard-working student. Ellen, we wish you all the best and look forward to seeing where your talents take you. Dan is a polite, mature and meticulous student whose keen and inquiring mind have made him an absolute pleasure to teach in GCSE Computer Science. His interest for the subject was contagious and it was clear early on that he would become a well-rounded computer scientist by the end of the course. Dan consistently performed to an outstanding level in the subject, showing a real flair for the programming aspect of the course. His hard work and determination paid off as he produced one of the most impressive software applications for his assessment that I've seen so far. He is a student who undoubtedly possesses the ability and determination to succeed in any area of study. I'm sure he'll continue to serve as a positive example to his fellow students and his strength, aspirations and enthusiasm will benefit his future studies and chosen career. It is an honour and a privilege for me to convey to you on behalf of the business, economics and IT faculty at the Bishop of Landeth, our warmest congratulations and present you with the Nia James Memorial Prize for Outstanding Achievement in Computer Science. This year's Mervyn Payne Memorial Prize for Humanities goes to Rebecca Parry. Over her time in the Bishop of Landaff, Rebecca has shown a natural flair for humanities subjects, studying both geography and history at GCSE and A-level. Her excellent analytical and evaluative skills, combined with a passion for the subject and her consistent dedication to her studies, meant that she has truly excelled at both GCSE and A-level. In her AS examinations, Rebecca received full marks in all her papers sat across both disciplines, which is a truly outstanding achievement. Her work ethic and dedication, not just to humanities subjects, but to all other subjects, was truly remarkable. Rebecca's aim for perfection would lead her into other areas, both geographical and historical interest, beyond her confines to the respective courses. This year, Rebecca's taken a gap year before she starts her studies in Earth and Planetary Sciences at Imperial College London, starting in September. Rebecca was a pleasure to teach and is a fitting recipient of this year's Award for Excellence in Humanities. We wish her all the best for the future. Congratulations, Rebecca.
When we consider the virtues that make up an excellent student of English literature or language, this person epitomises them all. Tom Bowen was, from the first to the impromptu last, a wonderful student to work with. His enthusiasm for both big ideas and the power of words was such that it enabled those around him to access texts at the highest level. Tom was engaging in discussion, diligent in his wider reading, and had a humility and resilience which is rare for someone of such abundant natural ability. It is with pride that we have the privilege of naming him for the Corrine Charlton Robbins Memorial Prize for English, and may he see it as our small way of saying thank you for making our job the joy it is. Learning another language takes courage, patience and commitment. It's not a destination, but a journey. The Landaff Prize for Languages rewards students who took that leap of faith into the unknown. Gabriella Mayo was an absolute pleasure to teach in A-level French. Her love and curiosity for the subject allowed her to grow into a confident and eloquent speaker of French. Gabriella was a resilient learner, an example for all students who strive for success and self-improvement. Gabriella spent a great deal of time on focus improvements of all aspects of her language studies, with a particular focus on her speaking skills, working diligently on strategies suggested by a languages assistant. Gabriella received an outstanding A star for her A level in French last summer. A culmination of all her efforts in her seven years with us at the Bishop of Landaff High School Church in Wales. We are very proud of her success. Her dedication and professionalism are an example to all and has won her this prestigious prize. It is an honor and a privilege for me to convey to you, Gabriella, on behalf of the whole languages department at the Bishop of Landaff, our warmest congratulations and our best wishes for the future. Good evening. I've got the pleasure in being able to speak about Benjamin Chu Ying. Throughout his time at school, Ben's teachers always saw that he had a flair for mathematics. His innate ability, combined with his willingness to work, meant that he made tremendous progress throughout his high school maths career. His positive attitude and his exceptional courteous manner were widely admired throughout the department, and they came together with the determination to succeed. His academic success has been counterbalanced by his sporting achievements as an international swimmer as well as playing competitive chess at a similarly high level. Ben is clearly an effective manager of time. Even dur during his trips away competing, Ben would still self-study and return back to school having self-taught himself abstract mathematics. During his time in the sixth form, Ben sat examinations for the full A level in mathematics in year 12. Not only did he achieve, achieve an A star, but he did so with full marks in all four papers, resulting in a total, an amazing total of 600 out of 600 marks. Amongst other sixth form achievements, Ben achieved silver and gold certificates in the Senior Challenge, which is a national annual competition organized by the United Kingdom Mathematics Trust. Ben has embarked on a mathematics degree at the University of Edinburgh, which will doubtless lead him to further success so it's my pleasure to award the prize for achievement in mathematics to Benjamin Chu Yin. Many congratulations, Ben. We wish you well in the future. Good evening. I have the pleasure to talk to you about Daniel Rees. Dan showed outstanding dedication and determination for music when he studied with us for seven years at Bishop. He did exceptionally well across all three aspects of the A-level music course, gaining A-stars across the board. This was due to his incredible natural talent and of course his motivation to apply himself to his studies. Dan is an outstanding performer on trombone and piano, having gained grade eight distinction in both. When in school, he led the school big band, played in worship, and was a regular feature in music recitals and the course the pit band in our school musicals. Outside of school, Dan built up a wealth of experiences in a number of ensembles. 
He played in the county orchestra and symphonic brass, as well as with the championship brass band in Tonguin Lice. Furthermore, he taught himself guitar, ukulele and clarinet. Since leaving Bishop, Dan has studied music and modern languages at Birmingham University. He has been enjoying the greater challenges of harmony and has continued with his trombone studies, relishing the new opportunity of learning sackbut. Dan, I am really jealous. Dan is an excellent musician. His dedication and professionalism is an example to all. He was a huge asset to the music at Bishop and I know he will do very well at university and beyond. So Daniel, I am proud to award you the Lambert Prize for Performing Arts. Thank you, good luck, and God bless. This year, the Reverend K. Martin Prize for Science is awarded to an incredibly inspiring and gifted student, not only for their success in their science studies, but also their commitment, conscientious approach, and diligent eye for detail. From year seven, we knew that they would be one of our top performing students, and they went on to achieve A stars in each of their A-level subjects, which included chemistry and physics. They've gone on to study physics in Bristol University, where we know they will continue to excel with their studies. The Reverend K. Martin Prize for Science this year is awarded to Emma Reevil. It brings me great pleasure to be here today to present the award for achievement in religious studies. Having taught Will throughout his GCSEs and A-levels, I've seen firsthand what a genuinely incredible person he is. Will was dedicated to his studies and was always motivated to achieve success. He would often be found with his head in his notes, creating digital resources, but also sharing his knowledge with the peers around him. However, he also has a remarkable ability to transform from an academic scholar to a social butterfly. Having spent 10 days with him in our school trip to Thailand, I can vouch for the fact that he's incredibly funny, genuine, and will take every opportunity to bring joy and laughter to a situation. Last year brought a great deal of uncertainty, stress, and anxiety, particularly for our students that were preparing to sit their A2 exams. However, Will's unwavering positivity and optimism provided a welcome relief and support for his peers. However, Will is also incredibly informed, and I know since leaving us to join Exeter University, he's used his knowledge of religion and politics to become a great advocate for social justice and has raised awareness for many issues in society today. He epitomises our school values of love and acceptance and therefore is truly deserving of this prize. I have no doubt that in the not-so-distant future we'll see remarkable things from this year's winner, Will Christmas. Throughout the two years of study, Ira has displayed an impressive level of creativity and a truly inquisitive approach to each aspect of the course. She has consistently performed to an exceptionally high standard and approached all of the work with a genuine passion for the topics which are being investigated. Ira demonstrated an ability to work effectively as an individual and as part of a team where she often took a leading role. The depth of analysis and synthesis shown when completing her individual project also demonstrated a level of maturity and understanding beyond her years. It is my absolute pleasure to award the Welsh Baccalaureate Prize to Ira Bassett. Congratulations, Llongyfarchiadau. From the moment Leah first joined us at the Bishop of Llandaff Sixth Form, her thirst for knowledge was exemplified. Her aptitude for the Welsh language became apparent extremely quickly, and she became an outstanding communicator, both in oracy and written work, able to hold fluent Welsh conversations both within school and within the community. Leah has immersed herself in his studies of the Welsh language and its culture, developing an interest in the events that have shaped the language, researching these independently to help strengthen her understanding and reasoning. What stands out about Leah is her true commitment and dedication to pursuing excellence, whether that is to understand a new grammar concept or indeed to refine her practice when conducting poetry analysis. 
Leah's notes are always immaculate, and these are a representation of her character, an absolute perfectionist. She is polite, enthusiastic, and always willing to help others. I know that Leah will not only continue her commitment to the Welsh language and its development within society, but she will also pass this passion on to others too. Leah has been an asset to the Welsh Department during her time at the Bishop of Flandaf Sixth Form, and we wish her the best of luck for the future. I am proud to present Leah with a Wobber Gumraig. Diane Leah. This student has been fundraising for the NSPCC for over seven years, and last year, including during lockdown, set herself the daunting challenge of a combined run, cycle, and walking the 870 miles, which is the equivalent of the Welsh coastal path. Her aim was to raise £1,600, the cost of training a childline counsellor, a role she would like to undertake in the very near future. To date, she has raised over £2,700, surpassing her target with ease, which included a very successful fundraising event in school last October. This selfless dedication to supporting others in need has been an inspiration to us all, and that is why it is our pleasure to award the Special Recognition Award for Services to the Community to Elizabeth Brennan. Diane Elizabeth, Llongyfarchiadau. It is my pleasure this evening to talk about Agnes Little and Ayo Alirira, who have both made a significant difference to the school since their arrival in 2014. Both are long-standing members of the Student Congress and advocates of the importance of student voice. Between them, they have promoted the rights of students, both within school, by leading assemblies and meetings with fellow students, and externally, for example, representing the school, a Cardiff Grand Council, and even participating in international visits to Poland and Spain. One memory that will stay with teachers is when both led staff training on the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Delivered professionally and with humour, both made sure that we teachers were fully informed and making the visible progress expected. Their contribution also extends more widely as members of the student leadership team, involvement in the school radio, Christian Union, sport, Io as an outstanding athlete and Agnes a talented basketball player. In addition, Io has participated in the Citizens Cymru Forum, whilst Agnes was one of a team of students successful in achieving world-class school status in 2020. I could go on. More recently, during lockdown, they've continued to inspire younger students remotely, offering leadership, encouragement and support. As well as being hugely talented individuals, they are exceptional people kind, generous and determined to make a difference. Congratulations to Agnes Little and Ayo Aluira, who thoroughly deserve this year's award for outstanding contribution to the school community. This student had exceptional results at GCSE last summer across all subjects no less than 12 A stars and distinction in additional maths. He is a very modest young man, but who is also an excellent musician amongst his many other talents. His success has been phenomenal this year, and we know we all congratulate him heartily with his achievement. We would therefore like to award Shivam Singhal the prize for outstanding achievement at GCSE. Congratulations, Shivam, and all the very best to the future. Besides achieving at the top end of some of the most challenging subjects that the modern curriculum offers, this student has always, since he has joined us from Mary Immaculate, been one of the outstanding character as well as ability. Talat Ali is a name which immediately warms the heart of all the staff blessed to have worked with him. Now sailing through a computer science course at university, it is also a pleasure to see and hear of his success, not only since coming to Bishop, but as he continues with the next steps of his journey. The personal qualities and academic acumen that Talal possesses 
will ensure that he is a success in whatever he does. Talal, thank you for choosing our school to study at and for the sixth form and the best of luck for the future. It is therefore our pleasure to award the outstanding achievement at A-Level Award to Talal Ali. Llangvarchiadau Talal. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm feeling very lucky and honoured to be here today speaking to you in the midst of the celebration of students' achievement and commitment throughout the school year. For everyone getting an award today, I just want to say a huge congratulations. This has not been an easy year by any means, with prolonged lockdowns, self-isolation and virtual learning. But despite all that, you still shone through with your talents, dedication and commitment. I also want to say thank you to the parents and carers for your support throughout this year. And on behalf of all the students from the Bishop community, a heartfelt thank you to our guest speakers. We're extremely grateful for you taking the time to share in the celebration, for your encouragement and for your truly inspirational words. It really does mean a lot. And as this year winds to a close, and we look towards the coming years. I'm full of excitement to see what the brilliant students from Bishop do in the coming years. I may be a little bit biased, but I think you guys are truly exceptional. Thank you and the Ochenvar. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, tuning in uh, this evening and uh, watching this evening's event, Jochen Willio, and Jochen Dord. I would offer on behalf of the governing body and the school, congratulations to everybody and for all that has been celebrated tonight. Uh, thanks to all those who have contributed and for their inspiring words. Thank you to everyone who has been involved in putting together this uh, technical event. Uh, and just thank you to everyone for bearing with uh, another challenging year in the life of the school. Uh, thanks to the head and staff on behalf of the governing body for all that uh, they have done during these difficult times. So as we give thanks, we also ask God's blessing on all that is being done. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance on you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you.